friends, I'm here at Crocodoodle. I'm here with Laura Gray. Super excited to talk to her. She is a part of one of my favorite hobbies. So it's exciting. We are talking about pottery and pottery painting today. So I want to take a, a moment to inquire with her. What did you do before this? How did this start? I'll let her take it away. Oh talk goodness. to me. Okay. Um, what you do? Where did you start? Where were you before doing this whole industry? Um, so, before Crocodoodle, I was a child youth worker for Children's Aid. That's cool. And I worked there for 22 years. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh huh. So, what made you transition? So, after I worked in child welfare, so I worked for, um, I, I worked a lot with um, foster and adoptive kids. Yeah. And it's it's a career with high burnout rate. So after 22 years, I just felt like my time had come. Um, it was it was um, very taxing. Yeah. So I took some time and and um, thought, what would I like to do? And I had gone to Crocodoodle um, in Blue Mountain. Oh. Find that that's where a lot of people start is in Blue Mountain, and they go and they fall in love with the experience and. It was always in the back of my brain for about four years, and then when I felt like I needed to transition, um, Crocodile came to mind. Good for you. Yeah. I love Blue Mountain. Good for you Me that too. that's where it started. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And how long have you been here? I've been here since March 2015. Okay. Yep. Is there a reason that this is where your transition took you? Were you always kind of artsy? So I feel like... I feel like Crocodoodle is more than just art, right? Um, so for me, as a child needs worker, um, my values were a lot about family and togetherness and um, the therapeutic value of art. So for me, it was almost a natural transition and the fact that it kind of brings community together. So it holds all of my personal values into a business. And I've always wanted to own a business. So it just, it seemed a little more seamless than maybe like a convenience store or a yep. subway or something like that. So for me, I love the fact that it holds my values true and I get to run a business that's really fun and it brings people together and it makes people happy. Good for you. Yeah. So for myself, anyone who knows me, you guys know that I've recently come across pottery and love it. For me, there's some sort of meditation meditative mm. aspect to it mm -hmm. so if you guys are looking for something to do in our area please come here she's amazing it's amazing please join me here thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe thank you thank you